Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Night Stock Zoom Call. I hope you had a productive last week, and I hope you're having a powerful weekend. Looking forward to a prosperous upcoming week in the market. Family, this is not financial advice. This Zoom is for entertainment, education, excitement, and empowerment so that you can make your own personal financial choices. All financial decisions made by viewers should be done after talking with a licensed professional. With that said, listen, we're not wasting no time tonight. We're getting in the bag, all four corners. The start show starts now. Hey, Jaina, unmute your line. Talk to us. What's happening last week and this week in the market? Good evening, everyone. I'm here to share with you some quick earnings to watch this week. Um, on Tuesday, we have earnings reports calls for Pfizer, Chesapeake Energy, Activation, Blizzard, Lyft, and Zillow Group. Wednesday, you can expect earnings reports for Arenia Pharmaceuticals, Roku, Fisher, Qualcomm, and Etsy. Thursday, earnings reports for Moderna, Square, GoPro, Pinterest, Airbnb, Novavax, Peloton Interactive, and Cloudflare. And lastly, on Friday, you can expect earnings reports calls for DraftKings, Canopy, Gro Canopy Growth, and Groupon. And that's my report for the week. Back to you, Griff. All right, all right, all right. Y'all govern yourselves accordingly. Those are the earnings report for this week. You know, when you're going in and out of positions, you need to know that information. It's very vital. But hey, we're not going to waste no time. Rick Rose, hey, talk to us up there in the big D, Detroit. Who was our biggest winners and losers last week in the stock market? Rick, it's on you. Hello, Sunday Night Stock family. Let me give you the winners, first of all, because um, that's something we surely lacking up here. As I said before, my beloved Lions is... Oh, and a thousand. <laughs> uh, the winners, starting with um, uh, Dexcom, Dexcom ticket symbol DXCM, they are up 9.2%. Um, Alphabet A, ticket symbol GOOGL, they're up 1.5%. Um, Alphabet C, ticket symbol GOOG, they're up 1.4%. Um, Atlassian they, Group, ticket symbol TEAM is in team. They are up 9.7%. And obviously, uh, Tesla, ticket symbol TSLA, uh, they are up 3.43%, which is to be expected after their deal with Hertz last week. The losers. This last week, Amazon, ticket symbol AMZN, they're down 2.1%. Uh, Cable One, ticket symbol CABO, they're down 2.65%. Um, Mercado de Lobri Incorporated, ticket symbol MELI, they're down 2.36%. And uh, Monolithic Power, Ticket symbol MPWR, they are down 4.41% last week. Back to you, Tim. Wow, wow. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. What a mighty report. Those are our winners and losers. Hey, family, listen, we got a great show tonight. Uh, before we get started, listen, I always want to remind you of, of your secret sauce. And you know, the greatest offensive weapon that we have here uh, in the stock market is this, you can never time the market. No, you cannot. You can never time the market and watch this. You will never sell at the top and you will never buy at the bottom. Always remember that whenever you're going in and out of a trade, you will never sell at the top and you will never buy at the bottom because we cannot time this market. All right, hey, listen, we got a good show up for you tonight. I think you're gonna like what we got for you. But before we do this, I want you to grab a pen and a paper. I want to uh, just give you some uh, technical terms tonight uh, uh, um, before we get started. And I want you to uh, uh, govern yourselves accordingly to it. I want to give you four strategies of, of what you should do or what you should look for uh, when you're taking profits. And I want you to be able to write these down. Uh, we talked about this probably about eight months ago. Uh, we did a show on taking profits. And I just feel like we need to uh, revisit it uh, so that you can maintain and you can be able to uh, just adopt your system. Uh, that you may be able to govern yourselves by and you may be able to 
uh, put yourself in the best position uh, to win at all times in this in this stock market. Number one, uh, the first thing that you can do when taking profits, this is the first rule. Uh, these rules are no are not in order of importance so that you can have them adopt whichever strategy you feel like uh, that you may want to adopt uh, for your particular portfolio. All right. Number one, you can ride a stock all the way out. 10 years or better. You can just ride it all the way out. You know, you can ride it through the ups. You can ride it through the downs. You can ride it through sideways trading. You can ride it all the way out. 10 years or better. This is called set it and forget it. You know, you can just set it and forget it. All right. Uh, number two, uh, take regular profits in a volatile stock market. You ought to take regular profits in a volatile stock market. There's two things you must consider. There's realized gains and then there's unrealized gains. All right. Let's deal with the realized gains. Realized gains mean you sold your position. You sold a position. You took whatever profits that was there and you're happy. The wife is happy. The dog is happy and you're good. You're ready for your next battle. All right, those are what we call realized gains. There's something else in the stock market you need to be aware of, and that is unrealized gains. And what unrealized gains is, unrealized gains is just this. It's just numbers on the screen. That's all realized gains is. So you got realized gains and you got unrealized gains. Unrealized gains are just numbers on the screen. You're looking at it every day, it may say, $100 profit, it may say $200 profit, it may say $4,000 profit, or it may say $4 million profit. It's unrealized until you shake Mr. Dow Jones' hand, all right? Number three, all right, you got to build the system, SS. You got to build the system. You want to build the system around yourself so that you know uh, when you want to uh, uh, have these uh realize gains when you really want to take profits when i talk about build the system this is the more technical aspects of the trading system this is the more technical aspects of the stock market that some of us you know we got busy schedules you may not have time to do it you may you may not be a, a, an advanced chart reader i think we did a show probably about a year ago based on charts i mean i went through you know maybe 20 different stocks and I told you all of the different things you can look for in those charts. So this is the more technical part, technical part of uh, when to take profits. You know, you got what you call the 50 day moving average. And then you got what you call the 20 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. What that is, when you're watching those technical charts, the 50 day moving average, you look at it. And when that when that signal or uh, when that stocks dips below that 50 day moving uh, average, that's a that's a selling signal to you that you're going to you're going to sell that position or maybe it's the 20 day moving average when that stock dips below that 20 day moving average that's a signal to you on the chart that you're going to close that position out and you're going to take those profits uh off the top right up there so these are these are a little more technical uh uh, parts of it when you get into that and you got to know how to read charts and you may not have time to read charts. So that's why I want to give you these different strategies uh, so that you can develop something for yourself. There's another uh, thing that causes when when a particular line crosses the MACD, when it crosses the MACD, that's another signal right there that it's time for you uh, to take profits. Uh, there's another thing I want you to write this down. It's called support and it's called resistance. Uh, support and resistance. All right. What support is support is that wherever when a stock reaches a certain point, the market will not allow it to go beneath that particular value. It'll bounce back up. That's what you call support. When you're trying to find, uh, we talked about it here on SNS, when you're trying to find the bottom, like when you see a stock falling, you know, you want to find the bottom. That support. You're always looking for a bottom. Remember, we talked about patterns and trends. You always want to know what a stock's patterns is and you want to know what a stock trends is. When you look at a stock and you've researched a stock and you know its patterns, you know its trends, you can find that support. You can find that bottom. All right. Resistance is this. When a stock reaches a certain point, say, for instance, it's Tesla. Tesla, I think the last time I checked was trading at 1,100 plus per share. So what happens is when Tesla gets to $1,102, it hits that mark and then it comes back down. 
it hits that mark and it comes back down. The market will not allow it uh, to go above $1,102. That's called resistance. It's resistance. So those are key areas. Those, that's another uh, number three. That's another uh, uh, technical aspect of what you want to consider uh, when you're thinking about uh, taking profits or you're thinking about uh, closing out a position. All right, last but not least, um, it's called the 10% gain, 5% profit rule. All right, I'm going to say that again. 10% gain, 5% take profits. In other words, when you got a position and that position excels 10%, you take 5% off the top. It goes up another 10%, you take 5% off the top. And this thing is repeated and, and uh, throughout the whole time you're in that particular position. So much so that what we're trying to do when you have really, really put together a nice system of when you're gonna take profits and you need to have something in your portfolio, you need to have some aspect of when you're gonna take, because always remember this SNS, we're trying to mitigate risk. That's all we're trying to do here. We're trying to mitigate risk. We don't want to lose more than we gain. You know, if you if you you invest a hundred dollars in a stock and the stock goes up a thousand dollars, you need to make a decision. That's a thousand percent gain. You know what I'm saying? So what the ten percent five percent profit uh, uh, rule does is that every time that stock goes up ten percent, you take five percent uh, off the top. But whatever approach uh, SNS you develop, develop a, an approach that you can, you can maintain some consistency with. You got to develop approach when taking profits that you can maintain some consistency with at all points. Listen, we, we, we're coming in, we're coming in strong to the close of this year. We are in the fourth quarter. Uh, November is right around the corner. I was hoping that uh, uh, all of my people that have been knocking on the door, cause me and Sister Griffin don't have any candy tonight. So we've been getting a lot of trick-or-treaters knocking on the door. And I'm like, well, we <laughs> I'm in the studio. So I know I'm not giving out no candy tonight. Sister Griffin cut all the lights off. So we don't have no candy for nobody trick-or-treating. So, um, uh, but before we get into that, like I said, this is the close of the show. And uh, probably about nine months ago, uh, we brought a guru on. I'm talking about a crypto uh, currency guru on. His name was Omar. I think a lot of you all may remember when we had Omar on the show and Omar walked through Bitcoin and he talked about it, told us the ins and the outs. He told us the various uh, uh, wallets we can have. He talked about uh, the different uh, brokerage firms that allow you to buy different currencies. And this was about nine months ago. And uh, he just really broke it down. Last week's show, we had another specialist on. Uh, he's a member of our family, SNS uh, group. Uh, we had G Trent on and G Trent, I mean, he walked through it. Yes, he did. He did a technical analysis uh, on uh, uh, all of the stocks, crypto, blockchain, so on, so forth. And we're coming to a close this week. And listen, what we wanted to do tonight, we've had a lot of family members. Yes, we have that have really been making great strides, been really making great gains. And as you know, about three, four months ago, man, the market was so suppressed. We were seeing more red days than green days. Everything was consolidating. A lot of our stocks was in the red. Some of them are, a lot of them have come out of the red and the market seems like it's on an uptick and it's where we can make some consistent money. And what I wanted to do tonight, I wanted some of our members who have been knocking it out the park, who have been really, really hitting the good. I wanted you all to hear those testimonies so that we can stay encouraged. We just had a good spiritual word, but I think when you get this wealth word tonight, it's gonna to encourage you. We're gonna finish out this fourth quarter strong. We're gonna go into 2022 doing nothing but making some money. So listen, without further ado, I want Lady Alexander uh, to unmute, unmute her line, and I want you to just talk to us. I want you to tell us what you want us to know. Let us know how you've been making profits how you've been pulling profits, what you've been doing, what it's looking like in your crypto wallet, because we've been on this thing big and we got a lot of family members making a lot of money in this crypto area. So uh, Lady Alexander, talk to us. It's on you. Hey, family. Okay, so, you know, we all got into the crypto craze around a few months ago, all of us in SNS. 
So I bought Sheba when it still had five zeros. It's currently down to four zeros. So I didn't invest a lot in it because, you know, Minister Griff said, put what you can afford to lose. So I always take that to heart. So I put like $175 in Sheba and I had got a call and a text from Minister Griff that she was going up from $175. I Sheba went up to like $1,200 for me because I had 15 million Sheba Inu. So I made like a thousand dollar profit on Shiba Inu. So like, I was like really excited about that. And you know, with SNS, we're going to take that profit. We're going to reinvest that into some more stable stocks. Cause you know, crypto is volatile, but I just want everybody to know, be encouraged. You know, when those times in the markets come where you can't take your profits, take your profits, you know, and take that money and reinvest it into something else. But yeah. Um, I bought Sheba and I was really excited and really happy with the profit I made from that. And then, you know, I had a few of my friends buy Sheba as well and they made some money. And <laughs> my friend right now, I'm here with her. She's dancing because she made some money with Sheba. She got her three, four hundred dollars from that. I had my little brother buy Sheba. And, you know, my little brother has been wanting to start his own business where he buys like little pallets and things with uh, little electronics and he flips them and resells them. So he was able to take that money and whatever and start his pallet business. So when we do this investing in the market for that money that we might not have or that capital that we might not have to be able to start our business, you know, he was able to take that little profit and start his business and be really happy. So, you know, it's just truly a blessing, you know, to be in this group and get this wisdom and this knowledge, not only to make these gains for ourselves, but to share that with someone else. <laughs> Hold on, Lady Alexander, don't go nowhere. Hold on, let me... Let me let me do a rewind. You took a hundred and seventy five dollar investment, and you flipped it to one thousand seven hundred dollars. Yeah, so I made about like a fifteen hundred dollar profit with Shiba Inu. Yeah, I completely flipped it. So when SNS alerted to it, um, it had it came on Coinbase. I want to say maybe September fifteenth. And I bought it like three days later. As soon as like after it came on core base, three days later, I got the link and um, I uh, I went and bought me some Shiba Inu. And I was like, and I, I remember joking in the chat saying, hey, I bought me five million. And then I got paid. My paycheck came. I'm like, you know, I could spare like a hundred more dollars. So right. I just put a hundred more dollars on it. I really wasn't paying attention to it until Minister Griff hit me. It was like Shiba Inu going up. And I'm like, wait, let me check. And I was at my job. I almost fell out of my chair. I was like, hold on, you telling me? <laughs> I done made more than I make on a day's work with this shit. I'm not clock up out these people's job. Like, don't make me clock out. <laughs> don't make me clock out this job. But, you know, okay. I was really excited. And I'm just really happy that, you know, everybody I told has made some money. And I mean, it's not like little money. Everybody I told, they made anywhere from three, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars So, like, this was good. a really good investment. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, listen, that's what it's all about, man. Listen, like I told you, that's what we got this channel for, man. I am so excited. I'm so happy about that uh, 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 because you don't only have to make uh, money on that stock side. Uh, you can make money on that crypto side uh, as well. And uh, man, that's some good stuff right there. You know, y'all know Lady Alexander. She always say, I just want to make enough to get me a cup of coffee. I get my car payment. Well, it seems like she's got that cup of coffee and she's got that that car payment as well. So Lady Alexander, major salute to you, uh, uh, Lady thank Alexander. Thank you, thank for, you. Yeah, for knocking it out the park, for being strong, taking the knowledge, doing what you need to do. Listen, we always say it in our church jargon that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Well, just like Jesus told them, Jesus told them when he, when his, when he came at the wedding in Cana, uh, his mother said, when his mother said, listen, there's no more wine. Jesus said, what that has to do with me? And then she said, well, servants, whatever he asks you to do, uh, just do it. Watch this here. Jesus did turn that water into wine, but them servants had to fill up that water pot. So we got to all actively participate. So if this wealth of the wicked going to be transferred over to us, the righteous, we got to participate and we got to invest that $175 and get that $1,700, $1,700 profit. So I'm happy about that. But without further ado, I want to bring somebody else to the, to the stage tonight. I want my man, big time, Randy. Randy, I want you to unmute your line tonight. And Randy, I want you to talk to us, man. Tell us about your, your wins. Talk to us. Randy, you out there tonight? Yes, I'm here. Um, how's everybody doing? God bless each and every last one of you. I'm so glad and so 
excited to be a part of this. <laughs> um, I did make a little money this week. I had, uh, um, um, good Lord, I was about to say Lexus, but uh, no, I had um, Tesla. Um, my only regret with that is that I didn't buy more of it. I only had one share, but I wish now that I would have bought more. I remember um, uh, Shaquille O'Neal was talking uh, about when he bought into Google a long time ago, I believe it was back in 93 and 94. And he said his only regret was he didn't buy more of it because we, we all know that Google is doing extremely well and people are making lots of money hand over fist with Google. With Google. So I, I, I think about um, the Tesla and only wish that I would have bought more of it. Um, I made a little money, I think about $500 or so. And it, it really feels good to make money and, not, and do absolutely nothing nothing, no work, no sweating, <laughs> no nothing. Making money like that is always a good thing. And I'm so excited because now I can take that money and get into uh, the crypto. And this, this, uh, the sister was just on, I'm so excited. <laughs> you got me so excited over here. I can't wait to get into this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that money and reinvest it into um, the cryptocurrency. <laughs> Wow, wow, that's good. Now, Randy, listen, real quick, Randy, how long have you been a part of the SNS family? Just give me a ballpark, Randy. I think I joined back in March, I believe it was. Okay, okay, back in March, man. That's all right. That's all right. Randy's kind of one of our newbies uh, uh, coming along. And Randy, uh, like he said, he wished he had got a little more, but he got in that Tesla and he was able to make some money. See, you gotta you gotta get in the area. This this allows us to be in an area in a space. Well, when we sleep, our money's making money for us. You know, when we out on the golf course, our money's making money for us. When we at Walmart, we at the gas station, when we at the park, when we taking the kids to Chuck E. Cheese, our money is making money for us. And listen, our other brothers and sisters, our European brothers and sisters, they've been doing this a long time. I'm glad we're in the party. I'm glad we're in the game because I really believe this is the greatest transference of wealth that we've seen in a lifetime, in this pandemic, whenever there's a pandemic, whenever there's problems, whenever there's defeat, whenever there's lack, somebody is prospering in a pandemic, and it's going to be us here on SNS Sunday Night Stocks. Hey, I want to talk to New Jersey. Where my man at? G Money, Cal, come on, man! I'm reaching out to talk to us. Man, what's going on, family? What's going on? Um, yeah, man, we started talking about crypto, man, about nine. I guess about nine months ago, I know it was early in the year when we had Omar on and, you know, a lot of us were a little bit skeptical of it because we really didn't understand it. And, you know, once Omar came on and gave us some perspective and we kind of saw what Bitcoin was doing, you know, it was rising high and it was dropping a lot, but it would always come back higher than what it dropped. So we made a decision at that point, we need to diversify a little bit and, you know, spread a little of that, that dry powder that we had over into the, uh, into the crypto space. And since we've done that, you know, uh, Shibu in particular, you know, I've also been into Bitcoin and ADA Cardano and Shibu in particular, I'm going to focus on this evening, but um, I, I probably made close to $3,000 in Shibu. Um, sure. And I have, a, I have a unique strategy. I basically, I bought into it initially. And when Shibu ran up, I think I was up probably close to $1,000. And I said, all right, I'm going to pull a thousand out and put it in cash in my Coinbase account, and I'm going to leave the $500 initial, you know, start that I had. And then she will go up again. And Tim will call me and say, hey, man, you know, you know, she is up a little bit. I said, man, I don't already took that $200. So now I'm peeled off another $200 and I leave my 500 in there. And then I realized, I said, dad, go on. I, I had about 27 million sheeps and now I'm only down to 15 million sheeps. So I said, what I'll do is Every time it dips, I'll buy back in with some of those profits because I realized that the less sheaves that I have, the less profit I was gaining every time it would run. So what I would do is I let it pop. If I gain $500 on the day, I would take the $500 out in the morning and then she would come all the way back down before it started that day. And then I would take $200 of the $500 profit and buy back in under what it started at to get myself back up to those levels. 
So I've been playing she back and forth, taking profits, and I still have the initial $500 that I started with on top of reinvestment money. So with she, I've probably milked she, like I said, close to $3,000 over the past three, four weeks alone. So it's, it's been real nice. So, so Kev, hold on, hold on. Don't go nowhere, Kev. So hold on. So, so what am I hearing? What am I hearing, Kev, is that right now you're playing with house money? Oh, yeah. I've been playing with house money, man, for the last three weeks. Wow. Yeah, I've been playing with house money for the last three weeks. But it, it took a minute for it to hit me in the head, you know, because I said, you know, initially I saw the profits. And, you know, my thing was, you know, I'm just going to leave it there because I missed a boat on Bitcoin and I don't want to miss the boat on this. But after doing a little bit of research and understanding, you know, the amount of sheeps that are out there and the realistic opportunity for it to hit even a penny, you know, became a little bit distance for me based on my research. I said, wow, I don't think this thing has the potential to really get there without burning the majority of it. And burning the majority of it means burning mine, too, you know. There's nothing special about me that, oh, I get to keep all my sheep and the rest of the world should burn there so I can become a gazillionaire. It doesn't work that way. I would have to burn mine too for it to run. So I said, you know what? It is going to continue to accumulate, um, but getting to a penny is very, very difficult. So I said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel off the profits every time it shoots up, every time the sentiment gets high and those spikes hit. My Shibu goes up, you know, anywhere from two to six, seven hundred dollars, you know, on a day. So I'll pull the profit off. I'll wait for it to drop back down. And then I'll take, you know, anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of the profit at that point and put it back in. So I always maintain a certain amount of sheep. So, yeah, Tim, I, I've been playing with house money for the last uh, for the last three weeks. So I got a <laughs> decent amount of cash on the side and I still have. um you know, I think I reinvested another two hundred dollars in sheep when it dipped. So now I've got I think I I had five hundred initially. I put in another two and the next time it pops is probably going to be another five hundred dollar hit. So I'll take the five hundred off, wait for it to drop down again and then dump another two back in. So, yeah, that's how I've been doing it. <laughs> that's good that's good stuff that's hey, good hey, stuff Tim, if, if, she me, will keep, if, if, if she will keep doing what it's doing for the rest of uh you know for another six months man i'm gonna be in real nice shape you know just <laughs> just milking it back and forth you know it's hey, like five hundred dollars a week it's crazy <laughs> that's all right rick ross hey rick ross I, I don't go nowhere rick ross still did, 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 did. ricky rick ricky rose rick ross leave us Rick, Rick, Rick Ross. I, I, I get him. I get him back on. Let me see who, I, who else I got out there. Uh, all right, Kev G. I tell you what, I was gonna have, I was gonna have Rick do it, man. I need you to get me a running tab. I want to do a running tab. All right, we got. Uh, you always. Wait, no, I think Pastor Burrell is on. Is Pastor Burrell on? Thought I saw Pastor Burrell out there. I don't know. Maybe he had to go. I'm on. Uh, I'm on, Griff. I'm on. I'm okay, just muted. Okay. I'm on. Okay, that's my mathematician. Pastor Burrell, I need you to give me a running tab tonight. All right, I want you to add these numbers up. We got 1,700. We got 1,700 in shit. We got 500 in Tesla with Randy. And we got 3,000 with Kev. I just want you to make sure you run these numbers, man, as these numbers going so we can we can get a final tally at the, at the end. Hey, listen, we're going to keep the show going. This is good stuff, man. This is good stuff. That wealth, this is the, I'm telling you, if you're not in the market, you can't sleep on cryptocurrency. It's here to stay. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to be in the space or not, these are, this, hey, this is our family tonight. And that's why I wanted this show because we got some, you know, we got some of our, our family members that's just kind of being hesitant, but the money is there to be made and, and, and you can put a little bit in and you can get a whole lot out. That's my kind it's, of talk it, right it, there. Hey Tim, let me share one more thing. Um, Come for on, those Kev. Of us, this, hey, this testimony of Sunday night stocks tonight. Yeah, no, you you know what? You reminded me of something when you said that because um, you know, for those of us that were on the call when Omar was on, um, you know, Omar is an advocate, and o over Omar is probably thirty, forty million dollars, you know, up on Bitcoin. Uh, and again, we used to work together. We kind of started work at the same time, and. You know, he just really destroyed this this Bitcoin market. So he he was a huge advocate on Bitcoin, 
and he was not an advocate on any of the other cryptos because he just didn't believe in it, you know? And I spoke to Omar um, three, four days ago. And, you know, I had some questions about Sheeb and what his thoughts were. And he's turned a corner. You know, Omar said, you know what, Kev? He said, I wasn't really, you know, into all of those other cryptos because, you know, at the end of the day, he's done the research. He really understands what's going to work in this society and what weren't, what won't, what's a mean point. And Omar said, but there's so much money to be made because of the hype. He said, I actually jumped in. I said, wait a minute. I said, Omar, the Bitcoin king, the, the, the rest of the world crypto killer jumped in on some of these meme type coins. He said, yes, I did. He said, because it was too easy to make money. He said, so I put some money in Shibu and he put some money in into a, one of these other ones that I forgot the name of. But he said he did the same thing that I was doing. He put the money in. It would pop. He'd peel the profit, let it drop, put a little bit more in let it pop again, peel the money. So he said, you know, I didn't put a whole lot in. He said, but basically over the last three weeks, he said, I've, I've amassed enough money to do a two week European, uh, European vacation with my family. <laughs> Everything paid for. I said, Oh my, you killing me, man. I said, you are into these other coins too. He said, I had to. So just to let everybody know, you know, that, that, that remember Omar, he, Omar was, yeah, he, he was adamant about not getting involved in any of the other cryptos, but uh, yeah. Mr. Big Money Bitcoin Omar is um he's been messing with Shibu too. So good oh, that's stuff. Good and stuff. taking profits. That's, that's good <laughs> stuff. That's good stuff right there, Cal. Well, hey, let's keep this train moving. I want to go to Deerfield Beach, Florida. I want to talk to my main man. Yeah, talk to us. I'm in your line, Pastor Ron Harper. Talk to us. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually in Lauderdale, y'all, but uh <laughs> well, you you pastor in Deerfield. <laughs> I pastor in Deerfield, all right. But I'm I'm in my my living room den area somewhere in there. Uh, but yeah, I I just have to uh, I I gotta say this uh, first, uh, uh, Griff, because you you said something and you talked about the scripture that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And about a year ago, the Lord gave me. He told me. He said, "Son, the wealth is no longer laid up." For the righteous, he said, it's in a season of release. Mm. And all we have to do now, and what we're doing now on SNN, is he said, you have to reposition yourself to receive it because then that means your mindset, your way of doing things, because the wealth, the wealth is no longer being laid up. It, it's, we're in a season of release. And it kind of reminded me, and I'm not preaching, but it kind of reminded me of uh, preach, preach. the story in, uh, in Luke 19 with Zacchaeus. Remember, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming. And because of his position and his stature, right, he was out of position. So what did he do? He took someone who was who, a wealthy man, right, and, and short in stature, and he undignified himself, and he climbed a sycamore tree mm. just so that he can reposition himself to be able to experience what he'd been wanting, amen, and that was Christ. So, so when we talk about repositioning, and, and I thank God for it, and I'll just give props where it, where, it, where it belongs. And I thank God for SNS because SNS has allowed me to reposition myself, you know, yes. mentally, psychologically, you know, financially, you know, I'm, you know, getting more established. So I'm grateful. I just believe that God is now telling us, you know, go get that wealth, but you got to reposition yourself. You know, we, we can't stay in the same place. We have to reposition ourselves. So with all that being said, um, yeah, uh, crypto has been real good to me. Uh, <laughs> lately, it's been really good. I've got about, uh, I think about, um, I've got about five positions um, in, in crypto. And, um, you know, the S SLM, the XRP, uh, the Cardano, they're all, right now, I'm looking real good in those. But being that we've been talking about um, the Shiba in new, uh, man, I'm telling you, um, after hearing everybody else's testimony on it, and uh, for this past, I don't know, couple of weeks, I think it's been uh, uh, Griff. Yes, sir. But, um, we're we're up, we're up about. I've made about seven grand on uh, on Sheba. Amen. I made about about seven about seven thousand on on Sheba. And uh, but but crypto is kind of like my my root stock. You know, we're we're kind of sitting in there, but I am learning now. Hey, take a little bit out. You yes. know, uh, as long as I don't mess with that in, uh, initial investment. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're looking good on that. And I'm, I'm excited about it. 
you know, just, 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 uh, you know, and just being on this line, man, has just been good. But, uh, but some of the other cryptos, man, is, 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 is wide open right now. And, uh, and I'm, I'm just look, I'm just, I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Just glad <laughs> to be a part of it. So yeah. yeah so that's, that's where I stand with it. Man, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, Pastor Hopper, don't go nowhere. Real quick, Pastor Hopper, when you first, when you first uh, was introduced to the SHIB coin and folk were talking about it, I know there was a little apprehension and stuff like that, but, 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 when, but, but when you jumped in the water, what was your initial investment uh, in the SHIB uh, when you first jumped in the water, when you know people was talking about it, you know, they didn't know this, know that, it was kind of new on the scene, you know, nobody really said anything about it. They had so many tokens, you know, it was like, man, how could it do this? How could it do that? Being with so many tokens. What 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 what, what did you what did you what did you dip your toe in when you first got into the Shiba coin then? The the, the Shiba, you mean on the Shiba? Yeah, the Shiba. Well, well, well what we did because I had a little intel. And uh, first hearing it, uh, hearing it from someone else, and then the confirmation from being uh, on SNS, um, we we jumped in. My wife and I, we jumped in. We we uh, invested a thousand dollars into it. Oh, you know, that's we jumped good. In. Yeah, we we jumped that's in, uh, uh, invested a thousand, and uh, so we made about seven right now. And uh, but but I'm gonna tell you with 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 the uh, with the crypto man. About three years ago, I, I got. Uh, a friend of mine told me, say, listen, man, jump on the XRP, jump on the XRP. So I said, all right. So I took about $400. I invested in S XRP and uh, wasn't familiar with it like I am now, you know, because I've been educated since I've been on SNS. And then I just kind of forgot about it. And then I actually forgot my code and didn't even know how to get in, lost everything, didn't know. And uh, so a few years later, he calls me up. He's like, man, what's your position? You know, he was telling me he's made you know, several hundred thousand um, in, in that in that field. And I was like, well, man, I can't even get on mine. I said, let me try to get on. But when I went in, you know, I seen that I had lost all kinds of money. So I kind of kicked myself because uh, I, I missed a, a big opportunity, you know, from three or four years ago. And uh, but I'm not going to let I'm not going to sleep in this in this season, man. I, I I lost that big time. Matter of fact, one of his his uh, the same person, his uh, his daughter, made about 700,000, then his son made about 500,000. And then he showed me the position where they were. And uh, they, they're sitting, right now they're sitting real good, just on the crypto, just on crypto around the crypto, crypto. Uh, yeah. period. So yeah we're, we're, yeah, we're in a good field, man. We're in a good field. Yeah, 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 that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Right, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Pastor uh, 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 Burrell, make sure you got that running tab. We got seven on that. Boy, that's something nice, family. When you can, when you can take a thousand dollars, listen, when, uh, just just a while ago, uh, 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 President Biden's administration, and you know, we don't talk politics on the show. Uh, we only talk politics uh, when it concerns our money. You know, this is a money show, so we don't talk politics, but only we talk politics when it concerns our money. So uh, the last stimulus check uh, that they gave out, uh, I think it was about twelve or $1,300. So if you have just took that stimulus check uh, that you didn't have, you didn't ask for it, you didn't do anything for it, uh, that they just... Uh, uh, gave it to you and just said, you know what, I'm going to put this stimulus check uh, in cryptocurrency. Pastor Hopper just told you a thousand would have got you 7,000. Come on now. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. You got to get in this field. Don't miss the train. Don't miss the train. The ship is moving. The helicopter is flowing. The planes are flying. The buses are riding. I'm going to go all the way back, date myself, because you know, I'm your boy. I'm Liberty City, Miami. The Jitney. Y'all don't remember the Jitney. <laughs> But the jitney is moving, the taxi cab, the Uber, whatever you want to call it, Lyft or whatever, it's moving. So you might want to get in this space. There's a lot of money to be made. But hey, listen, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Uh, Servant Dana, on reach the line, man, up in Atlanta. Talk to us. What's happening, boss? Oh, man, uh, I'm just sitting here gleaming from all of the, uh, the, the, the testimonies that's coming in from SNS family. And uh, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I'm like your boy, Kev. I, um, I'm big. I'm, now, I, I got in, I think, probably a little bit before most of you guys got in. Uh, I heard about Sheba long time ago. And so I got in and I start calling everybody. I got Victor and Connie and a few other people involved in Sheba. Uh, and uh, I took a position in Sheba 
right now, I'm up about a thousand percent. I was <laughs> I'm up about a thousand percent, you know. So uh, I took four hundred dollars, and it's up. Mine's is up to four thousand dollars right now. So that's a thousand percent. I don't care how you add it up. That's a thousand percent right yes, there. Sir. But and 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 but that's peanuts compared to you know my Bitcoin. Um, I, I'm doing Bitcoin uh, like Kev did Sheba, and so when 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 um, Griff was talking about uh, resistance and support or supporting resistance, um, you got to look at it like this: when you look at a heart monitor and the, uh, the, 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 the graph is going up and down, up and down. Well, when that, when that needle hits the top, uh, that's called resistance. And so it comes back down. And when it hits the bottom and bounces back up, that's called support. So the stock or the cryptocurrency is, 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 is going up and down inside what they call a trend line. And what I noticed a couple of months ago, I, I've been watching the trend line for Bitcoin. And so Bitcoin would hit 69, it would never break $70,000. It would hit 69, 68, and almost you know 70, and then come back down. And I told Reverend Burrell, I said, Reverend Burrell, I said, man, and see, I bought in, I bought in Bitcoin at 9,500. And so it hit almost 70,000. And so I'm like, and I saw it all the way come back down to about 27,000. And I'm like, oh my God. And I saw my account went from like 24,000 down to 12,000 and then rode it back up. And so last week it hit 66,000 again. I said, okay, here's that trend again. And I said, you know what? What I'm gonna do is I am not about to watch my account ride back down again. That's not gonna happen. No, sir. So I, I took out uh, my, my monies out of Bitcoin. I cashed out and uh, Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin, they typically ride together. And so I took out and the combination between the two of them were 20 grand, 20, <laughs> 20,000. So yeah, I took out 20 grand Yes, uh, sir. Last last week, I took out twenty grand, and yes, um, and I'm I'm gonna watch it ride back down. Now I started with forty five hundred. Right. Now that forty, but that forty five hundred is my position in five different cryptos. That's Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, uh, Cardano, and Shiv. And so the, the the money that I took out was just out of Bitcoin, and so. I still got my position that I started with in those other three remaining cryptos and took out profit of over about 20, 21,000. <laughs> so, and my shield is, is up about, I, I left my shield in there. My, here, here's what my plans is for shield. Talk to I, us. I'm, 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 I'm letting mine ride. I, I'm not taking it out. I'm letting it ride because I'm believing that I bought it because I bought it probably before everybody else got in. I got it when it was five zeros too, but I mean, some really low numbers and I bought, I bought it. And then, and so uh, one zero has diminished. I'm waiting for two more zeros. I wanted to get to point zero zero one. I'm not trying to get it to a penny. I just want it point zero zero one. Then I can pay off my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's pay what off I'm my talking house. about. Yeah. So 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 in other words, um, I'm at four thousand now with one zero taken right. off. The next zero comes off. I'm at forty thousand. Right. Exactly. Then the next zero comes off. I'm at four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. That's right. That's right. That makes sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so yes, sir. I'm looking for two more. So that's my exit strategy, Kev. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for two more zero. I ain't trying to wait till it get to a penny. Because no. if it go to a penny, then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be at four million. So, <laughs> hey, so, hey, so, hey, so, hey, hey, Dana. Hey, hey Dana. I, if if hey, all them zeros I'm come so, off, man, all I want no. you to do, man, is get me, set me up with a room at I the didn't house, need, baby. All I need is two more zeros to come off, Kev. Two that's more. it. Hey, I just I'm need two you. more. I, I, I'm not trying to be greedy. I just want two more zeros. That's it. I love it. Yeah, I love and it. I believe I love them. It. 
and, and see what a lot of people don't understand is um you can uh, in you said it about maybe two Sundays ago uh Griff that that you can do all the technicals you want in this season the technicals is it's really actually the game is going against the technicals yes. the millennials the millennials are driving the market right now That's right. and That's i said right. to myself when I'm I'm riding with them. Them. yeah the millennials are driving the market and they changing the game and so you watch what the millennials are doing um when i first heard about shiv i said lord i miss dodge i miss dodge i miss the amc that that millennial thing right there. I said, I'm not, stop. I'm not gonna miss, I'm not gonna miss Shiba Anu. I'm not missing that one. So I I, I got in there with them the millennials and I'm riding with them brothers, them, them young people. So Dana, <laughs> Dana, Dana, yes, let sir. me ask you, can, can I ask a question real quick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, listen, now with, with my sheep, right? I, I'm not, I haven't pulled my profits out. Me either. Okay. Okay, all right. That that's been and the only reason why, because I pull a little profit everywhere else, but I got I got millennials, I got my 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 son that's that's doing real good in it. And they're mm -hmm. like, Dad, don't touch that. Don't touch right. that. Other stuff pull, I'm moving other stuff around, but they they keep telling me, hold your position with the she. So that's where I've been at. I, I'm I'm a little I'm a little afraid sometimes when it, you know, it's going in and out, man. But uh, but I've been holding my position. I, I haven't I haven't That's pulled not, anything out of that. I got, I got, I got about sixty some odd million shares. I got seventy, yeah. <laughs> I got about sixty got some 70 odd million, million shares, and uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave it right there. It didn't cost okay. me a whole lot of money, and so my risk to reward is phenomenal. I mean, it's just, come on, doc, it was just a little bit of risk, yeah. you know, and 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 so Bitcoin and Ethereum is showing out for me, and so uh, Shib. It, 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 it's I'm, I'm at a thousand percent right now. So I'm just excited about what, what the, uh, you know, and I, you know, I got several positions in, in the stock market, but we're talking about, uh, you know, the cryptocurrency, but I'm going to tell you, um, you guys are hitting it. I, I'm telling you, you, when I say it, let me say this, you were about to preach and you should have preached because the wealth of the wicked is, it's, it's, it's God gave it to me this way. The trans, the, 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 the wealth transfer has begun. The wealth mm. transfer has begun. Yes. And it's only those who are in position. That's position. the key. Faith without works is dead. And I keep telling my friend, I, I, I'm going to roll you under the bus, Reverend Burrell. I'm going to roll you under the bus. I keep telling you, so you got you to gotta put in the work. I listen to training videos every day when i'm driving when i'm in my my, my spare time i oh, doc i'm like you i'm a minister too i do i do my prayer call on tuesday i do my prayer call on thursday and in between my study and my bible study doc i'm i'm learning about trend lines support and resistance i'm learning how to read charts you got to do yourself a favor and try to learn these technicals so you know when to get in and when to get out because Griff taught me this, and see, Griff taught me, and and, and I just, I, I, you know, um, you make it, you know, having a long position, buying a stock, and just riding it for a long term. That's just one way of making money. But see, you sitting up there while you your money's sitting there, not it's 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 you know it's it's gradually going up, and that's cool. But if you sit there, you can make money riding it up. You can make riding down. You can make it with options, sets, puts, calls. You you can day trade. You can. Mm. It, the game is 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 phenomenal, and we just get in the game. We late in the game, and don't don't fall for that old satanic trick. Talking about it's hard to teach your old dog new tricks. I'm 60 years old, doc. I just got in the game. That's that's a that's a trick from the devil. Now, you can learn it if you want to learn. The Bible says, "My people perish for lack of knowledge." We have not, because we won't go get it, Doc. We won't go get it. You got You got to get it. You got to get it. So get it. I'm, I'm putting in the, I'm putting in the work. I'm learning. I'm looking at videos. I'm asking questions. Uh, I, I haven't gotten 
a full the full hang of options yet. I'm working it on it. You know, I'm learning day trading. I'm learning uh, the crypto. I'm learning all of the different uh, 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 areas of stock and crypto and investing and what have you. So I can you know be equipped and positioned to be a very uh, 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 I, I would say really really positioned for this wealth transfer. I gotta have it. Man, that's 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 good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. You know, when you were saying that data, uh, uh, you know, you like to always say my shy nine nine. I heard it in my shy nine nine <laughs> in Matthew five and six as you was talking. The Bible says, right. "They that hunger and thirst mm -hmm. after righteousness shall be filled." And I like to say, "They that hunger and thirst after the stock market <laughs> shall be full." They that hunger and thirst after the cryptocurrency shall be filled. Hey, listen, man, I just want it tonight because I know a lot of times, you know, we're watching television, we're watching CNBC and we're watching other shows and we're watching other people and we're seeing our uh, people that we don't know, celebrities alike. We're seeing these people hit lotto and all of this stuff, people that we'll never be able to touch. We're never in a space with. And I want it tonight. I wanted us as a family to be able to celebrate our family members who are knocking it out the park. I mean, they're knocking it out the park. And we got other family members that, you know, at the shows we're going to bring in and let them talk. I'm going to give my testimony and we're going to let other people come in and say how they are hitting it out the park. But listen, I want you to know there's money to be made in this space and we're going to make it. We're going to continue to teach. We're going to continue to give you that education, that training. But remember, I say it all the time. You are the president and CEO of your portfolio. You got to, it, it'll work if you work it. Hey, listen, without further ado, it's nine o'clock. We're one minute over, but I got to do this. I want to do this. Listen, one of our family members, y'all heard of one of these uh, Sunday night stocks. We just going to just dedicate the whole show to her. She's got a show. I call her our modern day Rosa Park. We have a modern day civil rights activist that has been through the trends. And I'm telling you, when you hear her testimony and everything, she shared a little bit of it. But when we get ready to turn her loose, listen, it's going to be a blessing to you. Listen, she has a book. It's called A Brave Little Cookie. And I want Dr. Bracey, LaVon Bracey, to unmute her phone. I got my book. I'm telling you, it is a fabulous read. I'm talking about LaVon Bracey. Listen, I'm not going to tell it all. I'm going to give you five to six minutes to go ahead and just preface this book. Talk to us tonight, your SNS family. But I'm telling you, if you believe in the stock market, you got to have this book. This book will bless your life. <laughs> Dr. Bracey, talk to us. Thank you, Minister Griff. Uh, good evening. This has been such a phenomenal evening listening to uh, everybody who's doing so successful. And I'm, I'm just waiting. My time is going to come. And I'll, I'll have a testimony like I've heard tonight. But um, uh, very, very quickly about my book. I grew up in uh, St. Augustine, Florida in the 60s. Uh, my dad was president of the NAACP. My mom was a school teacher. I was there in turbulent times. Uh, my dad felt that he could set, change St. Augustine for the better since um, St. Augustine is the oldest place in the United States and he was not successful in doing that. My mom lost two teaching jobs because of my dad's advocacy. Uh, the Ku Klux Klan ran us out of St. Augustine. They burned a cross in front of our house. My dad had uh, Martin Luther King to come to St. Augustine, but we left there by night, moved to Gainesville, Florida. My dad became a pastor in Gainesville. My mother gets another teaching job. Uh, he promised my mom he would not get involved with the NAACP. He did not keep his promise. He became president of the NAACP in Gainesville. When he did that, he this was in 1964. Schools were still segregated. Ten years had passed since Brown, uh, the Board of Education, and uh, Gainesville refused to integrate the school system. So the NAACP and my dad sued the, the uh sorry, I the, couldn't hear what you the said. School system. And when they when they did that, uh the school system was determined that they did not want to cooperate. They had to cooperate 
And in so doing, I was, uh, my dad said that he needed to find some students that would go from the all black school to the all white school. He found a first, he found a 10th grader, 11th grader. I was in the 12th grade and I gave up my 12th grade year, went to this all white school. I knew that it would be a challenge, but I must say I'm 73 years old and it is still the worst year of my life. I was spit on every day. I was called the N word. I was beaten by six white guys. Every day I had to pray that I could make it to school and make it home uh, in one piece. It was a horrible experience, but in spite of how difficult it was, I was able to graduate. I was able to succeed. And I decided to write my story because I wanted kids to know that things may be difficult. I was bullied every day. I was spit on every day, but I was determined that I would be successful. So I, I wrote a children's book because I wanted children to know that they could be brave, they could be bold, and they could be successful. And I wanted children to know that they will have difficulties in their life, but they can be a conqueror. So I, I wrote a brave little cookie to inspire, to motivate children because they are our best asset for the future. So I guess I've said enough. Uh, I want children to be successful in spite of how difficult it looks they can succeed. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, I'm telling you, it is a great read. Matter of fact, you know, I've had my book ever since uh, 921. Uh, Dr. Bracey writes in this, she says, to the Griffith family, thank you for all that you do to inspire, motivate, and encourage this generation and future generations to come. Continue to be bold and brave as you speak truth to power. I am grateful that the Lord has allowed our past across. Listen, my other brother's on the line tonight. We're getting ready to get out. We're on good time tonight. Hey, Jay Murray, I'm reaching line, man. Talk to us. What you know about the brave little cookie? Hey, man, I got about five um, books, copies just the other day, Dr. Bracey, and I'm down to two. Um, they've been going like um, hot cake. But first, let me tell y'all, thank you. I'm the new kid on the block. Um, wherever my big brother Tim Griff go, I go. And um I done heard some stuff here today, y'all, that done got me happy and sad at the same time. Happy to hear it. Sad I didn't take advantage of it before. Uh, but I'm going to play catch up. And I heard my man talking about the four mil. I I'm coming for that four mil as well. I don't know how many cryptos or, or coconut cookies or Oreos I got to invest <laughs> in. <the corn. laughs> but but I'm, I'm ready to get off the fence and get in the game. Uh, between Dr. Bracey's book and from hearing what you guys got, I'm ready to pay off my mortgage. I'm ready to retire. I'm ready. I just, y'all do me a favor. Y'all just do me a favor. Sister Griffin, close your ears. I don't need my wife to hear none of this because when she hear how this is going, she already got me going to the giraffe um, people in Africa for a trip. I don't want to give her no more ideas. Um, so that brave cookie and this, this, this essence Sunday night investment gonna keep me broke. But I'm ready to get going, y'all. Y'all done got y'all done made a mistake, Tim, and you done. And I don't know which preacher it was. I know it's a room full of preachers, but he said something. I'm still in it. I'm just letting you know. He said the wealth of the wicked is left, but we got to reposition ourselves yes. to go get because it's being released now. I'm still yeah. in that part. I just want you to know that's stolen. So if you hear it again <laughs> somewhere in the street, I, I'm a I'm an honest I'm an honest thief. I'm an honest preacher. I'm telling you now, it's stolen. <laughs> and I'm a patent that. I'm a patent that because I believe that right now. So Griff, thank you. Uh, family, thank you. Um, I'm checking my account tomorrow, Griff, and see if those little coins drop. And then we're ready to cook with fish grease. Amen. Amen. So you're an honest plagiarist, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm honest. I'm, you, hey, it ain't no hypocrisy here. You, you. I'm letting you know I, I stole it. <laughs> you gonna hear that again? <laughs> you right. gonna hear? And, and Bracy, uh, Dr. Bracy, your book. She didn't do it no justice tonight, fam. She really did. Um, if you hear the story in detail, it's going it gives me chills every time I hear her story. Every time. But she I bought five of her books and I'm down to two. Um, 
and and it's just going like that. But um, she's a she's a true hero, and it's an honor to know a uh, Dr. Levon Bracy, and it's a double honor to have my brother Tim Griff as my friend and my brother. Bless you, Jay Murray. Bless you. Hey, listen, Dr. Bracy. Before we go, we on good time tonight. We're nine minutes over. We're getting ready to sign off. Dr. Bracy, how can how can uh, we we get your book? How can uh, some family members that may may want to get some and invest in some children's lives, want to invest in some of their family members' lives, send it to Pookie and Ray Ray and Shaquita and them. How, how can they get your book, Dr. Bracey? I put it in the chat, bravelittlecookie.com. If they go Brave to bravelittlecookie.com. Yeah, if they go there and they can purchase my book. Okay, can you give us your email address? Can you give us your email? I, surely. Levon Bracey at AOL.com. I'll write that too. Okay, all right. Levon Bracey at AOL. Dot com. Again, that's LaVon Bracy at AOL.com. Dr. Bracy, real quick before you go, how much is the book? Uh, the, the hard covers are 20, the soft covers are, are 12. Okay, I got a hard copy here. So, hard copy is nice. All right, they're 20 and the soft copies are 12, right? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, listen, family, listen, it's been a great. Griff. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on. Can I ask uh, Dr. Bracey a real quick question? Yes, sir. Sure. Absolutely. Dr. Bracey, this is uh, Servant Dana. Um, do you know any Gelsies in St. Augustine? Any Gelsies? G-E-L-S-E-Y? Gelsies? No, I don't. Okay. It's been, it's, you know, it's, it's been over, it's been over 60 years since I lived there. Yeah, no. my, my biological father uh, was born and raised in St. Augustine. I was just curious. Gelsey. Gels no. In, 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 in St. Augustine. Okay, then. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hey, listen, family, we've had a great show tonight. I'm going to ask Pastor Carlos Barrow to unmute his line, man, and pray us out. But listen, if you're not in the space, you need to get in the space. Uh, uh, Randy, I'm going to call you after the call is over. Miss Highsink, I'm calling you after the call is over. Y'all stand by. Uh, Sister Griffin got a little vittles in there. Let me get a little vittles in my system, and then I'll okay, be on the thank phone. You. And uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be ready to go. Okay, hey, Grill. Uh, Grill. Yes. Oh yeah, I need that running total, Pastor. There you go. I said you had me yeah. do all this adding here. Yeah, give uh, me a running yeah. total. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the family. Uh, uh, if you just use what Dana did with just Sheba Enu, the running total is fifteen thousand eight hundred. But if you get his total cash out, uh, everything our running total for the family tonight. Is thirty two thousand two hundred dollars. Y'all heard that thirty two thousand two hundred dollars, and we ain't we ain't done yet. We gonna get that up. Make it forty two. Thirty two million. All right. Make it. 42. Somebody said make it forty two. All right. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, that may that may be my other guy checking in. Come on, uh, 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 Magruder, Greg, talk to us. What you get? What say you? You know what Gush did for me this week. I, I want you, I want you to talk to me, baby. Come on. I know I know what it did. I was hold, I was holding you for another show, but since you didn't jump up, come on, talk to us. I need to get that total up tonight. I'm gonna put twelve on there. All right, twelve thousand. Put twelve thousand yeah. on that. Yes, yeah. sir. Come on, y'all. Y'all hook it up. Greg Magruder hit Goose. Now Gush, he's on our stock yeah. side, and he hit Gush G U S H. That's the petroleum. You see the petroleum well, is through the roof. Greg's been in that. Listen, he's been in that since Moses was a baby. So, <laughs> so, so that's how he he didn't he didn't play the game on that one. That's twelve thousand. Pastor Burrell, please uh, recalculate that. What we got now, Pastor Burrell? Doctor, we got we got. Uh, let's see if I mute it. Let's see if I mute it. Forty-four thousand two hundred dollars. Forty-four thousand two hundred dollars. And count. We ain't done yet. Pastor Carlos Barrow, man, come on, man. You better unmute this line, man, because I'm telling you, man, I'm about to bust tonight, and we still got some more testimonials that have to come through. We closing this, we closing this fourth quarter. We closing 2021 in the midst of this pandemic on SNS with a bang. Pastor Barrow, it's on you, man. All right. Uh, man, let's go ahead and give God some praise on this, man. This is a great report and a great God that we serve. And we know that the earth is his and the fullness thereof, but we want to thank him for the obedience and those faithful servants that went forth and trust God in the midst of everything that's going on. 
Let's seek God right now. Father, we just thank you once again for this great celebration. And we thank you for the magnificent testimony of your servants who stood in the midst of oppression during the civil rights movement, oh God. We just thank you for the book that is being written that not only tell her story, but tell of your love and your grace and your person. We thank you right now as you continue to go forth, move mightily upon the hearts and minds of everyone that is gathered here today. Let their resources be blessed. Let their minds be blessed, that they may walk in the perpetual blessing uh, that, and that they have good health to enjoy it. We just thank you for rebuking every devour, every, every plot, plan, and scheme that the enemy has set for their minds. And Lord, we know that everybody's going to celebrate, but we celebrate with our brothers and sisters for everything that you bestowed upon their lives. We speak blessing upon their mothers, their fathers, even their enemies, that they may see the glory of God in their lives like never before as they sit at the table and rejoice of the goodness of the God we serve. Now let your magnificent hands continue to touch them, strengthen them, and guide them. In the midst of all that is going on, God, we thank you that no weapon formed against them shall ever prosper. And we just thank you for the host tonight as you give us this magnificent testimony of all that you are doing and all that you're about to do. We stand in faith and we stagger not at the promise of God through unbelief, but we're going to continue to walk and praise your holy and magnificent name. Now bless us that we depart this place, but never at your sight that once again we may stand before for others and let them know as we sit at the table of our God out of our loader box and let everyone know that our God brought us out and look what he has done for us. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Good night everybody. Amen. Good night all. Amen.